So here is the entrance to Good Part and Company Cafe. It's at the very front of the new Ralph O'Connor Center building at Johns Hopkins University at their gym. Welcome to the Good Part. You see the signage, right? Our lobby space is pretty big. It's pretty nice. It seats like 40 people. I kind of took over this. This is like my little part-time office or whatever. So pick up my tripod. Let's get the moving through the cafe. There's our mini fridge. Um, that's my assistant manager there holding it down. You see the logo, you see the branding inside, you see the bookshelf decked out in the background. We got flowers back there, we got um, a whole rack of books. Some of our merch to design the, the racks back there, like our cups and our mini bag coolers. You know, we got some of our, some of our merch on display. Healthy is a fashion statement, you see we got our signage going. Here we have like two kiosks. Um, and then we got the regular station where you can actually order, come to the register and order. We got our digital monitors, like I designed all of these drinks myself. So we got our smoothies and bowls and all of the smoothie bowl uh, add-ons here. We got our extra little signage in the middle, QR code for promotional service so they can join our um, mailing list. Over here on the second digital monitor, we got the coffee, our coffee drinks, our lattes, and of course our cold pressed juice. Informational stuff there, you know, the cafe hours and all, and another QR code so they can follow us on Instagram. Business cards, gotta have those on deck. We probably gonna get some more promotional materials up front, like some flyers, some pamphlets about our cleanses, things like that for the new school year. Now these are the monitors, I mean, these are the kiosks where people just come up and place their orders when it gets real fast paced. You can't take all of the orders at the counter, so this is really, really convenient. That allows, allows us to take you know, a lot more orders, cover a lot more orders in a faster amount of time. And you can see that we can kind of load everything into these kiosks from our merch to our smoothies to our bowls. We got um, our cold pressed juices, all the juice packs that, that you wanna buy, coffee items, our matcha there. So those are the more popular things, right? The smoothies, the bowls, the coffee. So let me walk you guys through the actual rec center real quick. Um, every time one of my friends or family members come through to check out our new location, and I always wanna give them a tour. Also take um, all of our new staff, give them a tour as well. So this is the cycling room where all of the equipment is for um, ellipticals, treadmills, uh, bikes, all that good stuff. Then downstairs is where when I do work out here, I spend most of my time. So we have a mezzanine track area here. And this is where I spend most of my time on the basketball court getting my shots. I come down here. Sometimes I play with uh, I play with the folks who come and play every Wednesday and Friday. I think it's kind of like older guys around my age or a little bit older, like faculty and stuff. Students come play um, in the afternoons. Normally I'm working or I'm not here, so I don't come in. But I come down here, get some shots up, you know, get a little sweat in, do like a hundred, get up like a hundred shots or so. So that's pretty fun, and um, that's the benefits and perks of being at a gym, at a college, and then here, the actual weight room. Not gonna spend too much time walking through there. I'm gonna be all up in this space, but it's pretty nice. Over here we have the uh, rock climbing wall. Who has this at their juice bar? Ha! <laughs> So over here, you see volleyball and uh, badminton is a really, really big sport at Johns Hopkins. So they come through, play badminton in the, in the afternoons and evenings. And then we have some multi-purpose rooms. Well, they're not really multi-purpose rooms. We have specialized room for actual spin classes. Over here, we have, uh, they do like Zumba in these rooms. Also, um, the boxing, so you see the gloves. So they do kickboxing, boxing classes, and yeah, so it's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. On the other side, they have handball courts, and then they have some other fitness rooms. And then all the way upstairs, there are, there's a small weight room with exercise equipment, and then they also have a multi-purpose room. So that's where people do like, they go in there and practice their TikTok dances and, and all that jazz. They do um, dance rehearsals, and they also have like actual conferences and stuff in there. So it's pretty neat. I'm being inside the gym. It's a different feel from having my own cafe. 
Cafes are typically cool, kind of quiet, kind of chill, kind of reserved. That was the setup for our first spot where you can like, you know, catch a vibe, drink your juice, and hop on the Wi-Fi. Here they got Wi-Fi, but it's more like for students, for people who are active, kind of busy, so they kind of in and out. You know, you always hear a ball bouncing, you hear sneakers squeaking, and you know, people are kind of sweaty and moving back and forth, but that's a part of that fitness, you know, lifestyle. So, you know, we fit well with that because fitness is a part of my life, you know, and that's something that I'm pretty familiar with. But my cafe being right in it, wasn't familiar with that. So it took a little time to get used to, but once I got used to it, it was good to go. We fit right in, then we start adding our own flavor on top. So since we're the first thing you see when you come in the gym, be like, all right, cool, we want to come control the vibe, set our own little playlist, so we play what we want. So we set the vibe for everybody that's chilling in the cafe. We got the Wi-Fi and stuff going, and you know, once you go past the cafe, you into the gym, and then you can always come back, grab a smoothie, grab a juice, that type of setup. So that's what I do. Um, well, that's what we do here at Good Part and Company. That's what I've set up, plant-based uh, health cafe and juice bar, and that's just an extension of my life. You know, and now I'm blessed and fortunate enough to say that I can make my life my business. I'm going to catch y'all in the next episode.